Lee and his team of time jumpers have a pill called Z+, that enables their consciousness only to go forwards or backwards for one hour and only one day at a time. They go on heists where they gather data such as stock prices and gambling outcomes, and they bring this information back to their high-paying clients. Everything is going great for them until a group called The Organization wants full control of these pills. Can Lee outsmart them or will a nefarious group of greedy people win out? I guess only time will tell. Here we go. A kind of time traveling pill has been invented. Two men have entered scientist Dr. Muller's home. They inject him with a communication chip. A group of investors known as The Organization want whatever information this has about a pill known as Z+, and the inventor, his colleague, Dr. J. The pill allows the user to enter their future time, but only with their mind. I know it's confusing, but stick with us. We'll try to clear this up. In essence, it's time travel within the perception of their consciousness. To put it plainly, imagine that your entire life was a DVD movie, Birth to Death, starring you. Well, this pill allows you to fast forward by a day in the future, see what's going on, then jump back to the present knowing what will happen. The organization makes Muller give them his remaining batch of Z serum made years ago. The time bouncers interrupt and say they've discovered some important information about Lee Warner who is a test subject with Z. Three months after that, Lee, who looks like a third runner-up in a 1970s Tom Selleck Magnum P.I. lookalike contest, and two others, Finn and Martin, are pulling off a heist. They have 60 minutes to jump to their future and obtain some information for their client. Each of them takes one Z+, and enters their tomorrow bodies. When going into the future, your eyes are purple. However, the organization has been spying on them for months and the time bouncers have arrived to capture them. The team only has two minutes until they jump back to yesterday. They just barely make their escape and are bounced back to the day before in the truck. Lee goes to his trailer where he looks at his stash of Z plus he stole six years ago. He volunteered for experiments using Z to earn money to help with his sick brother. Dr. J tested him on different Z pills to send him back and forth in time. But these were the earlier prototype, and they messed up his sense of the here and now. He has a team now that uses the pills to make tons of money, stealing data from one day in the future. Time has elapsed to the actual point of their narrow escape. The organization has blocked their car, and they run towards the woods. But Martin can't get out, and when the enemy arrives, he is shot. When they return to their car, Martin's gone. Weeks later, Lee is back at his trailer, trying to recover from losing Martin. He and Finn agreed that was their last job. It's gotten too dangerous. Then Lee gets a call in which saying no is not an option. They are giving a new job for a lot of money. Lee visits his old bookie, Danny, for help in finding a new photo. Someone with a photographic memory who can remember data like stock prices, winners of sports games, or new technological discoveries. Nothing physical can be taken back from the hour spent in the future. Danny says he knows of a woman, Sophia, who is brilliant and makes money taking other students' tests. Lee spies on her at the campus. She comes up as Lee tells her he has an adventurous job for her. If you're interested in time travel, meet me at the stadium tomorrow. Sophia does some research on YouTube. She's starting to be convinced that consciousness time travel is possible and is intrigued. Later, she decides to meet with Lee. In another place, at the same time, we see that Martin is still alive, but he's been captured. Derek, who works for the organization, tried to turn him in, but now he's lost his mind. So Derek tells him to put the sack back on his head and shoots him dead. Back with Sophia meeting with Lee, he tells her basically he has a pill if one goes 
backwards in time, the eyes turn green, and if forwards in time, the eyes turn purple. They use them to breach the space-time continuum, like a chessboard, where they are kings and can obtain information for money. She has to memorize 14 account numbers with 10 digits each. Sophia's like, that's cool, I'm in. She meets Finn and they're ready to go on the heist. Simon is a go-between for major corporations and big cryptocurrency transactions. The account information will be on his computer at his chalet in the mountains at 10 tomorrow. The trio get in the car. They know that their minds will be gone for a while, so they're safe there. They pop the pills and are at the chalet of tomorrow. The plan is to divert Simon's attention and go into his house and get the information off the computer. But things don't go as planned. First, Sophia and Lee cannot get in and try to bust the door down. Oh, we pick, not kick the lock. Then, waited a few minutes to get the email with the account numbers. Uh-oh, there's a strange car approaching Simon. He thinks it's a package delivery. It's Derek and the men from the organization. Their goals are not in the best interest of Lee and his team. Simon doesn't know what's going on, and as he's begging for his life, the time bouncers get darts in their necks, taking them out. Simon runs and bumps into Lee and Sophia in the woods. Lee goes to investigate who these people are. He finds Derek and punches him. Derek is very happy because Lee is who he wants. They dunk Derek in the jacuzzi, demanding to know who he is. With a couple of punches, Derek gets the upper hand. Lee manages to escape and is running after the car as they're leaving. They jump back at the precise time, but instead of being in the truck, they're at Lee's trailer. Now how did that happen? Lee notices his supply of Z is gone. They decide to go back as planned and deal with Simon, which to him will be seconds. However, Lee and team can use a whole day to figure this out. They got the numbers for the big payoff, but the client is a no-show, so no money. Lee goes to the bar to have a few drinks because he's got a drinking problem. A girl is trying to pushes him into a hidden door and gives him a chip injection, then puts something in his pocket. The chip makes him communicate with the organization, who is setting him up. He is told if he decides to help the organization, then see what's on the microchip she put in his pocket. The following morning, they go back to the truck where they were yesterday. Green eyes means going back. And their plan is to go to Simon's house and straighten out whatever just happened. Lee jumps out of the truck, climbs up, then darts the driver. He knows they have to go to his trailer and hide the Z. They're in their places set to come back to the present, but Lee senses something is wrong. It is because a car that was following them pulls up and Derek gets out. He has a surprise for him. Martin is alive. Derek states, give me the remaining stash of the Z pills and Martin lives. So they let Martin live. They go to their places to move through time again, planning to wake up near Simon. They tell Martin to just take the car and meet there. They all meet and they realize they have no more Z and can't bounce back and forth. They will be hunted down and killed unless they find a way to get more Z. They can by asking Dr. J to make them some more. Now they have to find him. J looks like Jerry Garcia hiding out in the middle of nowhere. They know the organization wants him too, but have a plan. Lee tells Martin to go lay down some sensors on all the roads leading to Jay's, so if they're coming, they will be prepared. Jay and Lee speak alone. Jay apologizes for running experiments in time travel on him years ago. Lee will hear none of it because his mind became confused. He didn't know memories from reality, and he didn't even know when his brother died. At a meeting, the team makes a plan. Simon has Derek as a crypto account client and knows he is going to be getting 100 million transferred to him on that day. Probably from getting J and the recipe to make Z plus so that the organization can take over the world by using it to time travel and own everything. 
Since they only have one pill left, they tell Martin he'll take it so he can look through the surveillance cameras they just set up and come back and tell them exactly when Derek will be coming. Simon can help because he controls cryptocurrency and if there's a transfer, he can direct it to any bank they choose. While Finn and Lee are about to kiss, a sensor goes off and Derek is coming early. He is there to kidnap Jay and give him to the organization until he makes unlimited amounts of Z. They discover Martin has flipped sides and works for the organization now. Martin goes off on a tirade saying he's sick of Lee's machismo and stupid rules. Jay tells them you need him alive but he just took a poison pill and he'll be dead in 30 minutes unless they play his game. Jay says, however, he knows where there's an antidote buried. If he sets the others free, he'll go to the organization willingly. Derek freaks out and shoots Lee multiple times. Derek calls the organization saying, Lee is dead. He has their Z stash and can find out where the antidote is and they'll return with Jay. But he wants the entire transfer before he brings Jay to him. The organization agrees to transfer him half. Meanwhile, Finn needs the keys to drive to where the antidote is buried, but a man is guarding them. So Finn uses her kung fu and WrestleMania skills to subdue the guard and get the keys. At the place where they bury the antidote, Jay gets it and injects him one. The organization transfers 50 million, but Simon intercepts it and transfers it to Lee's account. Lee uses his communication chip to talk to the organization. They thought he was dead, so they kept asking, where are you? And he just replies, well, you should ask when I am, because right now I am on a boat enjoying your money I just stole. The organization can see that the transfer was intercepted. You see, the day before, they figured out that Martin was the mole, so they sent Sophia to learn when Derek arrived. Sophia tells all the events that transpired, including Lee getting shot, so they were prepared. In the car, a bulletproof Lee dart shot one of the guards and quickly took his uniform. He posed as the guard and was able to subdue both Martin and Derek. The team escaped in the van with 50 million. So they still have the bag of Z plus in case they need to evade the organization. But for now, they bought a yacht and are enjoying themselves on a trip far, far away. So what are your thoughts on this one? I always like a good time travel movie, and I followed most of this one. But we want to know what you think in the comments below. And if you'd like to watch more on Movie Shortens, please click on the video or the playlist on the screen. Thanks for watching.